Hey guys, Aaron with AOP Tech here. And today for a quick tip, we're gonna be talking about how to use Google Forms to automate the process of collecting attendance. It's one of those things as a teacher we all have to do. It takes time and I wanna make it quick, easy, and automatic. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today using Google Forms and an add-on called Forms Publisher. What you're gonna to need to have, you're gonna to need to have a copy of your roster, whether that's in Excel or Sheets or in Word or anything like that, copy of your roster, and you're also gonna to need to open up a blank Google Forms. So go ahead and grab those two things and we'll get started. All right, so here we are in Google Forms. And what I did, I opened up a blank form, I titled it Daily Attendance. Now, for this video, I'm gonna assume that you teach the same students all day. If you're one of those teachers who have multiple students uh, or different class periods, or you have like an A block and a B block, the, what you're gonna do is your first question will be either like what block or what period. And then what I would do is, so let's say we have period one, you have period two, and then you have period three, what have you. And then what I do, so this would be your first question. And I would come down here to the snowmen and I would say, go to section based on answer. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna build your class list for each period. And then I would say, so period one, go to period one's class list. Period two, go to period two's class list. For our example today, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna assume that you see the same kids all day. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up here to the plus button. And our first question, we're gonna make these all, um, these are all gonna be check boxes. So the first one, we're gonna go with uh, absent students. And the first option you're gonna choose is all students are present. And then down here, and then you're gonna come over here and, and wherever your student roster is, it's gotta be in a digital format somewhere. I like Google Sheets. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come over here. I'm going to copy all of my students. So let's see here, we'll copy. So I'll copy my students. All right, so once you've copied all your students from your roster, all you need to do is come in here under option two and click control V and now has added all your students. So now I'm gonna do the same thing, but for late students. So I'm gonna come over here, add a question, question type, check box, late students or tardy if you prefer. Uh, first option, all students were on time. Option number two, same thing, click, control V, add them all in, perfect. All right, so now that you have built your Google form, we need to go grab that add-on. Now, if you haven't used add-ons before, um, you are not gonna see this little symbol right here. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna come over here to the snowman, scroll all the way down where it says add-ons, and we're looking for form publisher. And for me, it happened to be right in the front. If not, you can just type in form publisher, click get, it's gonna ask you for permissions, allow them, uh, it's gonna take a second to install. Once it's installed, it's gonna pop up. And you will now see if you haven't, if you've never used add-ons before, you're gonna see a new little button show up here. So the way to do this, click up on that icon, go to Form Publisher. We're gonna click on Get Started. Now Form Publisher, do you already have a template? No, we're gonna create one, template type. We're gonna go with a Google Doc. And then once it has created this template, go ahead and click on it just to open it up. We're gonna come back to that slide in a second. You can click next. Do you already have a drive folder to put all the documents created into? Um, I'm gonna say no, let's create one. What that's gonna do is gonna create a form in my Google Drive where all this attendance data is gonna go. From this point, we can click next. Okay, so. Here's how, because I want this to be automatic. I don't want to have to do anything else other than marking who's present or who is late. I want to automatically email the results of this form to my office manager, whoever is, uh, you know, the front office, or if I have to send it to an admin assistant, that's who I want to send it to. So I'm going to type in their email address here. Make sure you click the add button. 
And then where it says edit email, we're going to click on the edit email button because this is going to open up the email that they're going to get. So under subject of email, I want to do uh, class attendance and I want to make sure I, I label the day's date. So to do that, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to hold the shift key and it's usually the comma and the period key. Um, we're going to use the two little carrots there. So carrot, carrot, and we're going to go type in today, shift, close, carrot, carrot. And what that's going to do is going to, it's kind of, we're kind of doing a mail merge. That's really what we're doing. Um, it's going to grab and input whatever the day's date is in the subject line of your email. So now we just need to add in the body language within the email. So I will say, you know, uh, the following students were absent. Okay, now come back to that form template. Remember I had you open it and we're gonna copy where it says absent students, copy that. And then we're gonna paste that into our email. And we're going to say, following students were tardy. Same thing. Grab that indicator, drop it in, and we say, thank you, Mr. Heinz. Save and close. And that's it. And now it's gonna automatically send that email every time you felt your attendance. You can click done. It'll give you an opportunity to try it. And what I would do is where I added in that, that email is maybe for the first time add in, um, like if you have a personal email account, try it, make sure it works, make sure you the email runs as it should. And then you can go back and just change that email address to send it to the correct person. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. All right, so when you're at this page, what I would do is I would recommend actually going up and bookmarking it. That way it'll, it'll be really easy for you to find it. The other option is to come over here to the settings menu, the three little snowmen, and you're gonna actually click on settings. And right here on startup, open up on a specific page. And that way you can choose what pages automatically load every time you open up Chrome. And so what I would do is I would just add, I would say, use this current page. And what it'll do is it'll open up that things faster and easier for you. That way you don't have to go searching through menus looking for it. So for this one, let's see, uh, we're gonna say all students are present. And under late students, let's see here, Dwight came in late, uh, Jim came in late, and Oscar came in late. We'll go ahead and click submit. So a couple things have happened. So because this is a Google form, I automatically am gonna get a nice summary of late students. I also am gonna get the, it's gonna automatically create a spreadsheet for me. So now that I have it in a spreadsheet, well now I can, I can sort, I can identify. There's a lot of tools in here, I can track things. But what it also did is I'm actually gonna switch over to my personal, uh, cause I typed in my personal email there. And when I open that up, Here's that email, class attendance, 3-1-2017. The following students were absent, all students were present. The following students were Towardy, Dwight, Jim Halpert, and Oscar Martinez. Hey guys, so thank you so much. That was all for today's AOP Tech Quick Tip. Uh, please be sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. Go to our website, aoptech.weebly.com. Feel free to send either myself or Alyssa DeVito an email or connect with us on Twitter. And if you use Google Forms or Google Forms Publisher in your classroom, tell us in the comments below. What do you like about it? How have you uh, used it in your class? How has it saved you time? So thank you very much and God bless.